Greetings from the churches in Japan, um, from the uh, next town's missions churches. Uh, now they have about 22 churches, and also the Zion Mission. Uh, they have about seven churches, and then I'm from the uh, uh, Gospel Fellowship churches. That is uh, about 18 churches right now. So. Um, now we are talking about, start talking about the, uh, we will have more close relationship, you know, more um, doing, uh, planting churches together, because all of us has the same kind of vision, which is to plant churches in all states. In Japan, we have about 47 states, uh, prefectures, district. In, in that. So we have maybe probably we have right now maybe 15 states or something like that. So we have a long way to go. So we need your help. Um, and also some people said Japan doesn't need any more missionaries. No, 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 no. We need a lots of missionaries. And then in the future, definitely um, right now, about 2,000 missionaries from, from Japan to uh, many countries in, you know, in, in the world. But the, uh, I'd like to see it more, you know, maybe 10 times, 20,000, maybe 100 times, 200,000 missionaries from Japan. It's, it's possible. Yeah. Nothing is impossible for God. Right now, Japan is under... One percent. You don't know what is what it's like. You know, you, you never lived in Texas. You feel like you bump into the uh, Christians all over the places. <laughs> yeah. If you hit somebody, that may be the Christian, right? <laughs> <laughs> but in Japan, if you hit somebody, you don't hit Christians. You feel it, you know, if you see it, you know, you smell like, oh, that person is a Christian, you know. It's different. There are different people. So anyway, <clears throat> if I go speaking like this, probably I will not finish sermon tonight, so <laughs> I'll get into it anyway. Um, my name is Nobuyoshi Nagai. Nobuyoshi means uh, right, uh, righteous live by faith. Yeah. So it's easy to remember, right? Uh, nobu means faith, believe, and gi nobu yoshi means righteous. So my father, <clears throat> um, when he was praying for uh, his son, his first oldest son to to be born, he was praying to God, and he said, "He God said that you know, righteous live by faith." So my name is Nobu Yoshi. Nobu, you can call me Nobu because Nobu Yoshi is just, just a bit too long for the, uh, most of the Texans, so. Um, when I was in uh, Texas, um, I came to Texas, um, Dallas, uh, to attend the Cross Border Nations. Um, that was uh, 1983. And in those days, not many people saw Japanese people, and Jap Japanese name is not that familiar. So I, I introduced myself, my name is Nobuyoshi, some people said, oh, you are Nobuyoshi. You know, they changed it to the Russian name or something. So, <laughs> so I said, no, no, no. You don't have to pronounce all entire my first name. You said Nobu. So Nobu has been the, uh, my American name. So please, please remember that. Um, in Romans chapter 1, verse 11 and 12, it says like this in I long to see you so that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to make you strong. That is, that you and I may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith. I came to here to mutually encouraged by from you. I want to get encouragement. Because it's Japanese, ministry in Japan is not easy. Of course, ministry in the United States is not easy also. That's why we need to come together 
once in a while and encourage each other. So could you turn to the next person? And then I said, I'm here to encourage you. You could say it to the person. <laughs> So tonight, um, pretty much I will take my time to um, share a family story, and also the uh, and also I will challenge you what God is putting in my heart to 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 share with you. Um, Christian faith is relation, relationship with God. Relationship with other Christians, other churches, and relationship with the world. So these are the three relationships that we have. So what we do in mission, we will be sending, sending into, the, into the world so that we will be able to bring the people, the person, to be in the relationship with God. And then that, if, if that person accepts Jesus Christ as their savior, they will become our family member. And then they will be sent back to the world. And that's the uh, cycle. We want to see that. We want to see it all over the world. We want to see, you know, I want to see it in Japan, definitely. And then God has been working strongly last, I would say, since 2011. That was a year we had the uh, big earthquake. That was the uh, changing point for Japanese church to wake up and look for God for the answer. But before I go into the, uh, my story, but I need to tell you the, uh, my father and my mother's story. Uh, my father's name is Akira. Um, he is still alive. Um, I, may not, I may speak like he's already passed away, but uh, no, no, he's still alive. He's 87 years old, but he's, he's suffering with the dementia right now. So he's losing some memories, especially um, recent memories he's losing. So he's with the uh, close, I mean, he lives close to the, uh, my uh, other siblings. My mother, Eiko Nagai, uh, she passed away in 2019. Uh, she, uh, she had the uh, leukemia. And so she passed away within, I think, three months or so. And um, when I was uh, in Israel, um, I was leading some of the tour for the uh, other pastors and leaders. And then I got a phone call from, the, from Japan. She passed away. So I didn't have the chance to um, meet before she died. But the, uh, I know for sure that yes, she's in heaven. And I will be able to meet her. And these are the things that, you know, um, if you are in serving the Lord, you know, you will experience. I was born in 1961, uh, while his, uh, my father was in the midst of the burnout uh, in his ministry. He's a graduate of the Ikoma Bible College, IBC. He was trained by the uh, um, Leonard Kut, also John and Ruth Bell. And before he was going to graduate from the uh, IBC, he heard the pro prophecy. Prophe prophecy was given by American preacher. So <clears throat> you need to listen carefully, right? So American preacher prophesied. And in those days, is, that's, that's the, uh, almost like it sounds like the word of God. Uh, voice from God. And what he said that the uh, revival in Japan will come south. So after his graduation, he decided to go to south. He was born in the Kyushu Island. Kyushu Island is a southern island. 
But he wanted to go to the very south of that island, a place called Kagoshima. Kagoshima is <clears throat> very similar to Texas in a sense that the,、uh, in Kagoshima, people、um, think that Kagoshima is number one. <laughs> so sorry to mention like this, you know.、Um, By the way, I, my son, oldest son, was born in Texas. So he's a Texan. So I, we, I have a family member you know, who are Texans. So I cannot. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway,、um, <laughs> so he went to Kagoshima. He evangelized, he testified. Every day, very hard, trying to you know, combat people, but nobody responded. Day after day, he went out to the street. He tried to you know, evangelize people, passing tract, but nobody responded. So he became burnout. out. While he was born out, I was born. So, what happened is because he, has, he had to support his,、uh, his family, so he went back to his hometown. His hometown is Fukuoka, the、uh, biggest city in the Kyushu Island. And he、uh, started working for my mother's father's, my grand- grandfather's company. But As my mother said many times to, to her children, that in, during that, that time, about a year or so,、uh, my father was the,、uh, in the bottom. He was not happy.、He's, uh, his name is Akira. Akira means bright, but he was dark. And While he was working for the company, I became sick.、Um, I was diagnosed, diagnosed as this is very difficult for me to pronounce it、uh, intersusception. Intersusception. I, I, this is the first time for me to really look into the uh, uh, English word, but yeah, this is、uh, one of the diseases of the、uh, intestine. So, and it was already too late for the doctor to cure.、Um, when the,、uh, they found out I was you know,、uh, suffering from the inter- inter- in- intersusception,、um, it's, it's al- already、uh, you know, uh, past 48 hours. You have to fix this disease within the 40- 24 hours. So it's past double. The,、uh, the, the, the hours. So the doctor told my parents that it was too late to do any medical treatment. My father prayed. He prayed two prayers. One prayer is that the,、uh, if God, you heal my son, I will go back to the ministry. But He prayed another prayer also. If you heal my son, I will dedicate this son to you without my permission. <laughs> But I'm here, right? <laughs> He got, got answered the prayer anyway. So, after he prayed, the doctors unwillingly tried one of the treatments and I was healed miraculously. Amen. And as he promised, he was looking for the ministry opportunity, and then Brother Archie Alderson asked, 
him to be a part of the, his church planting in Osaka. So that was the, uh, the, the restart of the uh, church planting for my father's ministry. Um, himself, within his, I don't know, maybe 60 years of the ministry, uh, he planted seven churches. And now the, the original church, which is, uh, the, which is in Osaka, now my younger brother is the city pastor of the church. Yeah. So God answers prayers. Of course, you may feel like you, 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 you want to quit. You don't want to, you know, keep on going. But God knows the way out. God is preparing for you to be, go back into his ministry. So, anyway, um, that church just celebrated 60-year anniversary last year. Amen. So I really thank for the uh, uh, brother Odasun for um, asking um, my father to be a part of the uh, church planting. Even though I was dedicated for the ministry, but I was not really happy to be in the ministry because my father planted churches, right? So we have to move to the new town, new places. I have to change schools. And, you know, whenever we move, we lose friends. It's, you know, so I don't have any hometown in, in Japan. So, but now I have hometown in here in San Antonio, Texas, so I don't have, I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> anyway. Also, I, I'm, you know, I've been seeing many pastors' lives. They are not very, you know, easy. They are not having the easy life. Some of the pastors have to work a lot beside the ministry. So I, I don't want to be part of that. So I went to college. You know, I wanted to become a teacher for the public school. And I thought I could make impact because as a Christian, you know, a Christian teacher in the public school settings, I may be able to do some good things for God. I thought, but while I was trained as an intern for the school teacher, God called me into ministry. But I don't want to be in the ministry. <laughs> so I said to God, okay, I will go into the ministry, but not as a pastor. I like the music, so I want to become a music pastor, minister of music. Uh, in those days in Japan, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you didn't see that many um, music pastors in, you know, in the churches. So I said, I want to I wanna become music pastor. But God told me in that moment, I said to him, he said, this is the scripture that he reminded me, reminded me, Acts chapter 4 verse 12. Salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. That name is Jesus. Even I've been seeing many miracles. I, you know, myself experienced miracles. But I thought maybe human effort can be you know, good to the society was good to the education system in Japan. But he said, but God said to me, no, salvation is only from Jesus. Japan needs Jesus. That's the message, very strong message I, had, I got. So, um, I came to uh, Christ for the Nation after I graduate, graduated from the university in Japan, and then uh, I studied church music. And 
I was serving the uh, minister of music at the, one of the um, church in Dallas, Texas. And <clears throat> the pastor was the, uh, used to be a missionary to Japan. So he said, well, Nobu, you know, I know for sure that you'll be going back to Japan. So you need to prepare yourself to be a pastor. I said, no, 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 no. I don't want to become a pastor. So I want to keep on, you know, doing the ministry of music. That's good enough for me. But he said, no, you, you have to uh, prepare for the, uh, you know, to be a pastor. So he encouraged me to study theology also. So I did some uh, study there also. And before the graduation, uh, one of the church in Yokohama. Yokohama is the uh, second largest city in Japan. Uh, right now, they have about 3.8 million people living there. And so one of the church in Yokohama called me and to pastor the church, their church. And as I was serving as a pastor, the church grew. And But I was not too sure I'll be staying there for long. And then God moved us to the present location, which is um, northeastern part of Japan. Um, the Tohoku is the Japanese uh, way of saying northeastern, and which is, I mean, the uh, that. I'm very close to the town called Sendai. Sendai is the largest uh, city in northeastern region of Japan. It's about a little bit over one million people living there. But the, we are located um, about 25 kilo north of the uh, Sendai city. Um, we are living in the village, uh, Ohira village. And as you know, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I want you to pray for me, but the, uh, as you, rem you know, remember me that the, I'm from the uh, rural area. I'm pastoring a church in the rural area. Uh, that village has about 6,000 people living there. But, uh, you know, we got, I, I knew that God sent us there. That was the year 1996. But I was not too sure about, you know, I should be staying there for long. I was not very happy with because, you know, I have to travel uh, overseas to minister. And also, the, um, the, fortunately, uh, God opened the door for, the, um, for my ministry to go around, you know, enter Japan. So... I was not too sure. I mean, maybe I, you know, I need to live more in a convenient place. Convenience in Japan is very important. Uh, the the future when you are ch when you choose the where to live. But then, that great East Japan earthquake happened, 2011. The area where our church and, uh, oh, by the way, we have a Bible school also, um, Bible school for the church planters. We've been um, training over 100 uh, people. Now they are um, going out to the, uh, uh, especially in the rural area of Japan, to planting churches. But anyway, uh, our church and the Bible school was one of the strongest area, area of the earthquake intensity earthquake with the uh, uh, seismic intensity of seven. In Texas, you don't feel that, you know. I don't think you want to feel that. But seismic intensity of seven is not really fun to be there. Um, that happened when, when the earthquake happened. My wife and my youngest son was driving. He, they were in the car. The in front of the road was like this. And by the time they get to our place, you know, the, some of the building was uh, damaged. But 
I think that this is God's provision because we are in the inland, uh, far from the uh, coastal area. So, uh, so we were not affected by tsunami. That the, the, the great uh, East Japan earthquake, I think most of the people remember that the, uh, the, the size of tsunami was so big. We are located about um, maybe 10 miles from the uh, coastal area. So our campus became one of the uh, centers for the relief ministry. Um, hap, you know, that earthquake happened, that was on Friday afternoon. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Monday, the, the phone start ringing from all over the world. Are you okay? You know, uh, we'd like to come to help you. And so we became the uh, center for the uh, relief ministry. So as far as we, you know, counted, we don't know how many people came, but the, uh, we know for sure, first year, we have over 2,000 volunteers stayed at our place. We went for the relief work in the coastal area. Also, foreign year, we had probably, we had about the same size of the uh, people volunteer came to. And then I realized that the, uh, God put me there for this. It took for me to really realize why, you know, I'm here, you know. 15 years before disaster to prepare and build relationship, the networks of the churches, not within domestically, but also the uh, worldwide global network so that we'll be able to uh, support and do the ministry. Most of, I should say most of, because uh, there's, uh, <clears throat> um, unfortunately, you know, there are not very um, good volunteers. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny, but the, uh, uh, some of them, they, they came for the, uh, their, their purpose. So it was not, you know, happy. But the, most of them, the Christians, did a great job. Being a good example for others, especially for the, to the non-Christians. So some people, local people, called Christians, Christian volunteers, Kiristo-san. Kiristo-san means they are look like Christ. That created the atmosphere of accepting Christ for their Savior. I've been seeing many, many people after the, that disaster, they accept Jesus Christ. As far as I know now, about 30 churches has been planted in our area. This has never happened in the history of Japan. Within three, four years, God has been using all such sort of the ministry, uh, mission organization to plant the churches in Japan. Still, after, <clears throat> you know, now, I mean, this year will be the 12 years of the uh, um, memorial um, year of for us for the, uh, this earthquake. But the uh, still uh, very strong ministry is going on. But as I look at this, it dawned on me that we as the churches in Japan have not evangelized the area. Tsunami hit and gave damage about 500 kilo, about over 300 miles of the coastal area. Some of the tsunami came as high as 
30 meters. That is about 100 feet. And destroys ho destroyed the ho houses and the buildings. But this is fortunately or unfortunately, I, I should say, only two churches was washed away. Only two churches. 500 kilo, 300 miles of coastal area. Only two churches. And three other churches are damaged somewhat. That means there was no churches in the coastal area. We didn't, we didn't really plant the churches there. We didn't evangelize. Today, I would like for you to remember this particular passage. It is from the Romans chapter 1, verse 14. I am obligated both to Greeks and non-Greeks, both to the wise and the foolish. Paul said, because he couldn't go to Rome to minister, so he was saying that the, uh, I am obligated. In other translation, especially in Japanese translation, it sounds like this. I have debt to those who haven't had the gospel. As the Japanese church, I think we need to recognize we have a debt to those who are not hard the gospel. But I'd like to say to you tonight, you have debt. I know you don't have you don't want to have any more debts, right? I have some debts to the bank. I need to repay. You, you know, better not to have the debts. You know, debts free is good. But I think God wants us to have this kind of recognition that we have debt to those who are not have heard the gospel. This is the uh, God's desire. We need to pay back this debt to the people who have never had the chance to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. Japan, as I, you know, as I mentioned and some other people mentioned, the Christian population is less than 1%. It is the second largest unreached people group in, in the world. Um, next to the uh, Bangladesh. But you know, you know, if you know the, the country of Bangladesh, that the God is moving there. Uh, the church is, has been planted. Some of the very strong ministry is going on. I know God has a plan for Japan, but I think we need to hold on to this recognition that we have debts to the people. We don't go to mission field thinking that we are the one to give. You know, I feel sometimes I go to the, some of the rural area in Japan. There's no church was planted yet. I will feel like, you know, I will give this good news. But in, in, the, in the right way of doing so is that we come to you to repay, pay back debts to you. That's the way to represent the gospel. Tonight, let's have this recognition that God is putting in, in our heart so, so that we'll be able to pay back. Maybe somebody near to you, 
You need to pay back. You need to tell. You need to present. You need to share the good news. Tonight, I'd like to pray to God that he will be giving this desire to paying back. Not give you something good. This is good. You know, I can give you. No. The attitude of the paying back. Sorry. It took a long time to pay back to you. But this is God opened the door for me to pay you, pay you back this debt. So that we'll be able to use by God mightily. I believe that the, uh, God is speaking, speaking to you tonight. Amen. Let's pray. I'm, I'm feeling like I want to pray for three things. Maybe here, somebody like my father was dead. What was that? You're feeling like burnout? You want to quit? Um, you know, you don't want to continue anymore? You, you may like feeling like that in the midst of the, that kind of, you know, situation. God is trying to restore you tonight. God is going to heal you. And then we need to ask for God for the passion, desire to pay back the debt to the uh, unreached people. In the United States, I know a lot of unreached people live here. They know the name Jesus, maybe, but the, uh, they don't know the good news. So we need to pay back. In Japan, a lot, 99% of the people are there. Not, never had the uh, chance to listen to the gospel. So we need to pay back. I need to pay back. As a church, we need to pay back to them. And some other country also, I think God is putting the desire, the passion for, for you to pay back. So let's pray. Could you all stand and the worship team come here? And then I, I was wondering how we're going to do it, this. But the, uh, if you need a ministry for the uh, restoration of your ministry, would you come from maybe? I'm um, going to pray for you. And also the, uh, the you know, ministry team here will pray for you. Also, um, I'd like for you to pray for each other, for you to receive the recognition that we have debt. We need to pay back. So maybe, you know, maybe you phone maybe two or three people together, you know, in the circle and nearby you and pray for each other. You may, you may, you know, feel like I don't have any debt, but I think God is going to change your heart. Definitely, you need to pay back. That's, that's God's desire. And God is going to maybe, you know, give you a picture of the people that you need to pay back.